Well, I'm going to tell you now. Yeah, we're going to do <laughs> Szechuan beef. So I've got a nice Asian dish for you. And it's made with these Szechuan peppercorns here. So that's the flavor and the spice what we're going to use. And it's really, it's a really fruity, spicy, sweet, sort of sharp and makes your mouth tingle. It's fantastic. If you haven't got any, if you haven't got these in the cupboard, go out and get some because it's great. It works wonders with lots of meat. Uh, and then we're going to make a little beautiful salad to go with it. And you've got all these fantastic ingredients in there and plus lots of chilies. We like chilies. And that's going to be a little bit later on the show. Now it's over to Holly. OK, so what's it, uh, Sichuan peppers? Yeah, so this is our pepper. So you've got these tiny little husks and this little blackberry in there. So I'm yep. just toasting it to release all the flavours. So you can start smelling that a minute. Yeah. And then we're going to grind it down in the pestle and mortar. OK, good. OK, any large bits we're going to take out, but then that's going to be for our... Um, Sauce. So okay. we get all the flavour from that. Right, right let's get so, going. So we've got our beef. Yeah, so we've got some beef. So I've got some uh, beef rump here. Yep. So I'm just going to trim it up. Just take nice. all the fat off and uh, cut it down into your little muscle groups. Yep. And then I'm going to do some nice slices. And then we're going to pop it into a bowl. And then we are going to coat it in a little bit of corn flour. So nice little thin strips. Yeah. Thin strips. Thin strips like that. Yep. All right, and then I'm going to pop it in there. And you can pop the corn flour on. And okay. then you just give it a really toss, a good toss around. Mm -hmm. Just a nice light coating of corn flour over the beef. Okay. And then just in a wok, I've just got a little bit of oil. Well, about two centimetres worth of oil yep. in the wok. And I'm getting that hot now. Yeah, I can and feel we'll... it getting hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to be hot. Are and we then gonna we're going to start it? cooking the beef. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's sort of, I mean, sort of pretty much deep frying, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, and then that's going to make the beef nice and crispy. Okay, so we'll have nice crispy beef. There's sort of the coating on the outside from the corn flour. And then we're going to build um, a sauce, a really fast sauce around around the beef okay. uh, with this Szechuan pepper. Oh yeah, I'd better I check that while that. we're doing that. In fact, I'm going to bring this bowl closer so I'm not leaning over the oven. <laughs> yeah, okay, do you, um, so is this one you make often? Do you? What do you like about it? It's probably the pepper and the garlic. Oh yeah, the pepper. Right. I mean, yeah, I mean it's full of fresh ingredients. You've got the chili in there, you've got the coriander, you've got some peanuts in there as well, lots of garlic. Yeah. But this is the, definitely the star of the show. Uh, the Szechuan pepper. I mean, I love this. I mean, this is great just to grind this up with a little bit of salt. Um, you know, put it on some meat, put it on your chips, put it put it on everything, really. It's really nice. It's, oh, um, geez, smell that. It's really good, really, really fragrant. And then mm. when you eat it, if you eat too much of it, if you dip your fingers in there, it makes your uh, tongue tingle. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, that's quite confirmed. Okay, but, it's, nice. but it's really nice, it's all really fragrant. And are you happy with the amount of corn flour on that? Is that about yeah. right? Yeah, a bit more? it can go a little okay. bit more. You want a nice, a, just a, a nice fine coating, but sort of an even coating around. Okay, cool. Right, and then we just, uh, so you just get a piece, just test your oil, so you pop it in, so it's nice and sizzly. Maybe give that another sort of 30 seconds okay. to warm up. Yep. And then we'll just, um, you know, don't put too much in, because you don't want to lose the temperature. So just drop them in, but piece by piece. Yeah, yep. and don't overcrowd the pan, and we'll cook that probably about, what, five, five, six minutes, so it's nice and crispy, drain it off. Yep. And then and we'll tip the oil out and then we'll make the sauce in there and just add it all like last minute. Okay, so do your beef first, you reckon? Yeah, yeah, so definitely we cool. do our beef first. Nice. And then just as uh, you know, we're waiting for the beef to cook, yep. we'll just do a nice little salad on the side. So I've got some soy sauce. Soy sauce. And some rice vinegar. Yum. So you've got sort of sourness, saltiness. And then all we're going to do now is just peel strips of carrot okay. and strips of cucumber. So imagine you're uh, just peeling a carrot, really. So nice. discard the outer peel and just keep going down like this. And you're just going to make this nice sort of ribbon salad. It's going to take on all those flavours and give us a nice freshness to the uh, dish. Yeah. OK, so this is sizzling now. Is this right? Yeah, that's it. So get that in. Cool. Don't overcrowd the pan, you said? No, don't overcrowd the pan. Nice and crispy. I mean, this is what we want. So we want a, a nice crispy beef because we'll get this really um, sort of intense, peppery, fragrant, sticky sauce which is going to go around the beef. OK, good. We'll do that to the cucumber as well. <laughs> we are back in the cafe kitchen. Coming up soon, though, we'll be joined by Weber Brothers Circus Ring Mistress Meryl Cassie to hear all about their amazing show, Adrenaline. Right now, though, <clears throat> excuse me, we need to finish this off. I'm just saw these fragrances and this sizzling beef. <laughs> It's nice. Well, that's it. So let's have a look at our beef. What do you so, reckon? Yeah, I reckon that's good. You've got a nice colour on there. It's nice yep. and crispy on the outside. So we can take that out, drain that off now. OK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this. And that's what we're after, you know? We want that. Look at that. It's almost, like, if you would eat that now, it's almost too crunchy and too dry to eat. But once you've got the sauce around it, it just, oh, it's just a match made in heaven. I could probably eat it like that. <laughs> I'm sure I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, yeah, OK, cool. This is good. So we're going to take the beef out and then we're going to tip, 
tip the excess oil off. Just yeah. leave a little bit in, and then we're going to start the sauce in the pan. Okay. And I've got the salad here, so I've just just make sure your vegetables are uh, coated in the soy and the vinegar, and then I've just added a little bit of coriander in there just to give it a nice fresh flavour. Okay, so you've got cucumber, you've got carrot, just you've got soy, cucumber and carrot, yeah, and a bit of rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. And that's it. All right, we'll get some of this. So carefully tip this off. Yep. Safety first in the kitchen. Nice. That's it. So I'm just going to leave it just a tiny bit in. Mm -hmm. So we've got the same pan. And then I've got some ginger and some garlic as well. So get that, get that in there. Put a little bit more oil. And then you want to sort of stir fry this. So keep it on nice high heat. Just stir frying it around, keeping it always on the go. You can do this actually. Okay. Stir frying, always stirring. <laughs> and then, so this is going to bring out all these uh, beautiful flavours. You can smell that I now. I can smell it already. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Right. So, so you, you know, you, can, you don't want to get too much colour on this now, but a little bit of colour does bring out all the flavours. So you can see we're getting a bit of colour on that now. And we've also got a little bit of flavour left over from our beef that we just cooked. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, it's, so it's all about building up flavour. Mm, so yum. there's some spring onions in there. Then I'm going to put some chilli in there. Okay. To so keep moving it? Yeah, yeah, keep moving it, keep stirring frying it. You know, we've chopped everything really, really fine, so it doesn't take long now. Okay. Okay, chilli goes in. Getting you know, really nervous. If you, <laughs> if, you, if you find it's getting a little bit too dry, you know, you can add a tiny bit more oil. Just, okay, so, cool. just so you get that even colour and the even flavours, you know? It's going to flavour that oil and it's all going to go into it. Mm, yeah, an authentic Chinese dish here. This is great. Beautiful, right, and I've just kept a little bit of corn flour here, so just like a, a spoon of corn flour, just dissolved it in a little bit of uh, water, just to make a little... Um, thickening sort of agent, yeah, isn't it? Thickening yeah, thickening agent, so that's going to go last minute. Okay. So once we're happy at this stage, we've got some ingredients we're going to put in, and it's going to be this, our sauce. Mm -hmm. Right, so a little bit of honey goes in there, some nice sweetness. Yep, yum. Yeah, so that can all melt down. And then we've got a little bit of soy sauce, and some more rice wine vinegar. That's going to give us that nice balance. I'm going to put some tomatoes in now. Just let them sort of come together and cook and just break down a little bit. Oh, yeah, so she is starting to smell beautiful. I'm going to give that a minute or so to cook. And look at the colours in here. It's so good. Oh, definitely. And you can see that, you can see that, yeah, the honey's just sort of thickening now. It's sort of coating it. Yum. You know, because we've got soy sauce in it, so I didn't put it all in at the minute. I'm going to put the rest in now. Because we've got okay. soy sauce in there, you know, we don't want to reduce that down because it's going to get too salty. Okay. So we are going to add the corn flour, and that's going to thicken it. So it's going to thicken the sauce without reducing it down too much and making it too salty. Ah, I'm going to put see. the Szechuan pepper in now. The key ingredient yeah. to this dish. And just going to bring that out. So just keep cooking that. If you find it's getting a little bit too thick, add a little bit of water. But then all we do now is Pop the beef in. Right. And then we've got some um, peanuts here as well. Yeah. Which are just going to lightly crust or just chop just for a bit of texture. They go in last minute and that is pretty much ready to go. Brilliant. I can't. The smell is driving me insane. And you can smell us yourself if you make it at home. The recipe at thecafe.co.nz. <laughs> We're all ready and I can tell you it's a little bit spicy. You oh, nice. Oh, the beautiful looking salad. Look at that. What do you call that, Mike? Sichuan. <laughs> <laughs>